C'est un plaisir pour moi de vous souhaiter la bienvenue à notre cinquième Assemblée publique annuelle. My name is Patrick Hadzipantelis, Vice President of Marketing and Communications at the Royal Canadian Mint, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our webcast to our fifth annual public meeting. During today's meeting, we will hear from four speakers. First on the agenda to present the shareholders view of the Mint strategic direction and performance in 2013 is the interim chair of the Mint's board of directors, Mrs. Susan Dujmovic. Next, the interim president and CEO, Mr. Mark Brule, will share key highlights of the 2013 from a business line and corporate perspective. Andre Aubrey, our interim vi vice president of finance and administration, will then summarize the Mint's financial results for 2013 and I will close the program with an overview of key marketing strategies and campaigns. So without further delay, I would like to invite the Interim Chair of the Mint's Board of Directors, Susan Dushmovic, to kick off today's meeting. Thank you, Patrick. As the uh, Interim Chair of the Board of Directors of the Royal Canadian Mint, and on behalf of its sole shareholder, the Government of Canada, it is my pleasure to report on the 2013 performance of the Mint. Il me fait plaisir de rendre compte du rendement. I am pleased to provide you with a summary of the Royal Canadian Mint as the uh, interim president of the uh, Board of Directors. Volatility that affect many of the sectors in which we operate. Yet the Mint has proven once again that it can effectively adapt to change and take advantage of new opportunities thanks to a long-standing strategy championed by both the Mint and its Board of Directors. Our steadfast commitment to innovation, reinvestment of capital, and to diversification have fueled the growth of our products and services while bolstering sustainability for the benefit of all our stakeholders. This strategy has had two important champions who recently retired from the Mint after seeing it through eight best years in its 106-year history. Former Chair James B. Love and President and CEO Ian E. Bennett. I speak for the entire Board of Directors by thanking Mr. Love for his dedicated leadership and strong governance, which was heavily focused on close collaboration with Mr. Bennett and his management team. We acknowledge their contribution in helping the Mint achieve another year of record revenues and strong profits. And I, along with Interim and CEO, Interim President and CEO Mark Brule, are committed to maintaining the strategic course they have worked so hard to set. In many ways, the successes of 2013 demonstrates that the Mint's vision to be the best Mint in the world has transformed it into a true global leader in only a few short years. Today, the Mint is internationally recognized as the most sophisticated and complete supplier of products and services in the global minting industry, and we want our customers to know that we will keep growing our capabilities to meet their ever-changing needs. The Board of Directors is fully prepared to offer its guidance and support as the Mint pursues its necessary evolution across all its business lines. Our numismatics and collectibles business line has produced impressive record results and continues to set ambitious revenue goals as it pursues new markets and customers. Overall, the Mint has found new ways to tell the Canadian story through an ever-widening range of themes and coin technologies. For example, the Mint is supporting the Government of Canada's National Commemoration Program, which in 2013 included the 60th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice and the 100th anniversary of the Canadian Arctic Expedition. Our focus on cultural themes remains important to fostering the richness of Canada's identity. We feature the works of Aboriginal artists as well as other finely crafted collectibles that pay tribute to emerging traditions such as the Chinese Lunar New Year. Even symbols of our modern cultural influences such as Superman tell stories about the Canadian experience. The most powerful symbol of Canadian identity, the maple leaf, is also the well-known trademark of our market-leading gold and silver bullion coins. Clearly, our strategy of reinvestment and renewal is paying off. We have sold a record of over 28 million ounces of our silver bullion coins, while gold maple leaf sales establish a 50% increase, making it one of the world's top gold bullion coins. The Mint also continues to grow other important services, such as refining, press, precious metal storage, and its unique gold and silver exchange-traded receipts. 
Our foreign business line has returned to profitability after weathering the effects of the global financial crisis. As a result of our exclusive and expanded multiply plating technology and promotion of our extensive technical consulting services, we are winning new contracts that establish the Royal Canadian Mint as a global leader in the minting industry. Another important vehicle for delivering that expertise is the Hugh Trong R&D Center of Excellence, which we officially opened in Winnipeg in 2013. This center will be a hub for developing new processes and applications with various technology partners. We have also made important investments in our Winnipeg facility, which houses our plating and coining operations for foreign and domestic circulation coinage. The Winnipeg facility also performs an important role in commemorating themes and events of national importance. To this end, we are encouraged by the public's reaction to the first coin recognizing Canada's sacrifices and con contributions to the Allied victory in both world wars. We look forward to a continuation of our role in commemorating our veterans of these historical conflicts. As we count down to the 150th anniversary of Canada in 2017, the synergy of the board and management team will continue, and we will seek out new ways to seize and secure the opportunities for the betterment of our shareholder and the people of Canada. I want to thank my fellow directors for ensuring the strong governance and guidance of the Mint as its management team continues to do a great job under the leadership of its interim president and CEO, Mark Brule. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Susan. I'd like to invite uh, our interim president and CEO of the Mint, Mr. Mark Brule. Thank you, Patrick. I feel very fortunate to represent the Royal Canadian Mint as its interim president and CEO at our fifth annual public meeting, and I'm very pleased to be able to report another year of robust performance, which continues to bolster a very strong foundation for the future. As interim president, it's an honor for me to represent the Royal Canadian Mint to provide you with uh, highlights um, uh, of an exceptional year on seven faces of the Mint. Yes, yes, sir. Ian Bennett, who, in strong partnership with the Mint's Board of Directors and its former chair, James Love, led the Mint through eight remarkable years of expansion, innovation, and diversification. Even though we are facing a year of transition at many levels in our organization, the strategic direction that was adopted a year ago by our board and executive team remains in place and continues to bear impressive results. With the support of our board in reinvesting our profits to modernize the Mint, as well as to expand the scope of our many business lines, we succeeded in generating an all-time record of nearly $3.4 billion in revenue. Since breaking through the billion-dollar revenue ceiling in 2008, the Mint has firmly established itself as a consistent multi-billion dollar business with significant profitability each year. Les profits avant impôts de 48 millions de dollars our pre-tax profits of $49 million, which we added to our results, have brought our results of the past five years to near $250 million. During that period of time, we return to our, to our main shareholder and to the Canadian population an excellent performance as dividends and generous fiscal receipts. I would like to take advantage of this opportunity today to thank our employees. It is through their efforts and their devotion that we owe these successful years. Years are even more impressive when viewed in the context of the financial crisis of 2008, whose aftershocks are still echoing in parts of the global economy. Our growth and success are a testament to the strength and resilience of our business model, guided by a strong vision, also adopted in 2009, to be the best mint in the world. This bold statement is not an end in itself. Rather, it's a declaration of the way we have chosen to run the Royal Canadian Mint, from serving our customers, to reinvesting in our people and equipment, to fueling our innovation and, and diversification. With a viable future as our only destination, the milestones reached over the last year are once again telling us the mint is headed in the right direction. One of the most revealing successes of 2013 is the growth of our numismatics and collectibles business line. Au cours de chacune des trois dernières années, nous avons établi... 
In the course of the last three years, we have uh, we've accumulated sales records, the last of which was $176 million in 2013. And once more, we've, turned, we've achieved a new record in 70 out-of-stock or sell-offs on 270 products inaugurated last year. Our acquisition efforts, anchored by our successful face value program, which are converting thousands of people to new coin collecting into repeat customers. It is also the product of multiple innovations which is getting attention at home and worldwide. Our incredibly popular glow-in-the-dark dinosaur collector coin earned a prestigious Krauss, Crown, Krauss Coin of the Year award, the most innovative coin. While our sold-out seven coin series celebrating the 75th anniversary of Superman included new extra-realistic hologram technology, the, to the choice of this universally loved pop culture theme also allowed us to tell the Canadian side of this superhero's story. The Mint is determined to explore new thematic horizons that generate a personal connection with customers at home and abroad, while continuing to tell the story of Canada to an increasingly large and diverse customer base. We announced at our last pu annual public meeting that the Mint was embarking on a six-year plan to commemorate multiple anniversaries of the First and Second World Wars through the release of memorable collector and circulation coins. I am very proud of the many coins we have launched over the last 11 months, beginning with our 2014 silver dollar, launched in January to honor of the 100th anniversary of the declaration of the First World War. I will not forget my early October visit to New Westminster, BC, when I unveiled our $2 Wait For Me Daddy circulation coin with none other than Warren Whitey Bernard, the boy at the center of the famous photograph, which captured the collective experience of Canadians when our country marched off to battle in the Second World War. Five million of these coins are now in circulation, and we look forward to commemorating new moments that shaped our nation as we remember these historic conflicts as we rapidly approach the 150th anniversary of, Conf of Confederation in 2017. We look forward to innovating in this area as well by striking circulation coins with multiple contrasting finishes and new colouring technologies which will bring many subjects to life like never before. Our uh, business lines of Canadian uh, circulation coin is, was the basis of the Canadian Mint in uh, 1908. It remains our main responsibility and it's with pride that I am telling you that we are continuing to respond to the need of Canadian business without any sh coin shortfalls, especially in this period where businesses and consumers are being gradually um, accommodated or used to the retirement of the uh, one cent coin. Our extensive collaboration with the Government of Canada, financial institutions and other stakeholders has so far allowed us to remove over five billion coins from circulation. As we've modernized our coinage denominations in response to the reality of today's commerce, we are also proud of our success in modernizing the security of our coinage. Our multiply plated steel $1 and $2 circulation coins entered into circulation two years ago and include very advanced visible and covert security features that have allowed us to prevent the kind of high value counterfeiting seen in other jurisdictions even in a G8 na nation like the UK. In addition to having achieved a preemptive success, we are delighted that these security features received international recognition last year as the best new coin innovation in the a Excellence in Currency Awards program presented by the International Association of Currency Affairs. In other words, the Royal Canadian Moot produces the most secure circulation coins in the world. Our unrivaled security cap capabilities, which benefit countless Canadians, are also there to help our many international customers. There is also a powerful proposition that will be instrumental to the future growth of our foreign business line. With our expanded plating facility and new R&D Centre of Excellence in Winnipeg, we are able to supply customers like Singapore and Botswana with our signature multiply plated steel technology we are offering others new plating solutions such as bronze plating and single layer double, double anneal nickel. 
This will help us serve a greater range of customers and grow our share of the plated coin market. Our new coin coloring technology should also be a driver of foreign business growth, as will our focus on sharing our expertise through a broad array of technical services. Our bullion, refinery and ETR team also stood out in 2013 for selling an all-time high of more than 28 million ounces of silver bullion coins, winning top global market for our share in gold maple leaf bullion coins, as well as setting a new standard for the security of this flagship gold bullion product. We, are proudly we proudly unveiled the prototype of our bullion DNA and counterfeiting technology at the 2014 Ber Berlin World Money Fair this past January. This is the world's first device that allows coin distributors and dealers to verify in store the authenticity of gold maple leaf bullion coins dated 2014 and beyond by scanning the micro engraved security mark on the coin's reverse side. Fabriquer les pièces d'investissement les plus pures et les plus sécuritaires au monde. To create the most secure and most pure uh, coins in the world is another tangible uh, part of our uh, mission in the world. It also highlights our brand and our per the perception of our activities. Of many examples of our commitment to increasing our investment in research and development and growing our R&D efforts over the long term. This is a key ingredient to modernizing our business so that we can continue to be relevant to our customers and to make a difference for them as our world changes and evolves. Challenges remain with us today as the Canadian dollar and precious metal prices continue to experience volatility. Those kinds of trends continue to test our resilience. We will keep responding with strategies designed to open new growth avenues. We are acti actively seeking to differentiate ourselves in the highly competitive foreign coinage sector where we believe we have much more than a commodity to offer our customers by also selling our technical services. The same thinking applies in our bullion, refinery and ETR business line, where we can offer investors the most secure bullion coins in the world, over and above delivering our signature purity and quality, or leverage our security storage capabilities for customers around the world. Nous augmentons notre présence dans we increase our presence in new markets in several business lines and we enhance our direct sales strategy of investment, our numismatic products, where uh, expand opportunities to growth still exist. We will continue to uh, increase and uh, further develop our plans in research and development in order to remain to be the privileged purveyor of our current and future clientele be the best mint in the world and our employees are determined to do their best for the sake of our customers, our shareholders and the Canadian public. We will continue to pursue ways to generate profits so that we can keep investing in a business which supports Canadian trade and commerce with efficiency, security, serving the global marketplace while also generating positive revenue for our shareholder, being there for all our customers, and celebrating Canada through our coins at home and around the world. Thank you. Merci. Merci, Marc. Uh, uh, thank you, Marc. Uh, who's our Interim Vice President of Finance and Administration, to uh, summarize the Mint's financial results for 2013. André. Thank you, Patrick. Merci. Good afternoon, everyone. Bon après-midi, tout le monde. Je suis heureux de rendre compte. I am uh, pleased to uh, report an extra um, performance of the business of the Mint's business line in uh, 2013, and uh, the a sound judgment of our business uh, business lines, as uh, shown earlier or as stated earlier by Marc Bouguer earlier. Our results in 2013 show the efficiency and the long-term planning through the uh, work of uh, the, our shareholder and the board of directors. The Mint has two main strategies, investment in its future and diversification. And this is being done by integrating those elements into our planning process. This we allow, we, we allow get a concrete vision day after day of having our vision, that of being the best Mint in the world. That being said, allow me to state the highlights of our 2013 financial release. 
on a self-sustaining basis by generating profit, 2013 demonstrated yet again that we were to accomplish that goal. In addition to reinvesting in our growth and innovation and generating healthy returns for our shareholders, our contribution to the Government of Canada last year totaled $73 million, delivered through a combination of dividend, corporate taxes, and seniorage. With all of our business line contributing to the Mint's profitability, we have also managed to expand our investment in research and development to $8.6 million last year compared to $7.4 million in 2012, which is fundamental to our ability to compete globally in three of our four business lines, as well to remain relevant to our domestic and international customers. Capital expenditure at the Mint represents investment required to protect the Mint's productivity and customer service and enhance growth opportunities. A total of $48 million of capital expenditure in 2013, including our new U Trong Center of Excellence and the expansion of the plating facility in Winnipeg. By investing in innovation and quality of our products, we have been able to sharpen our competitive edge, fuel revenues, and grow our presence in many strategic markets. The following five-year chart tells a compelling story. The 2009 to 2014, from 2009 to 2014, the Mint's um, income went for revenues came from uh, reached $3.4 billion last year. This was the fifth consecutive exercise where we exceeded $2 billion in, in revenues. Although all our business lines contribute to this performance, our perf that performance is mainly deal through sales uh, originating from two sectors. The first one is investment and collect uh, in, um, investment products and collectible, which uh, shattered a reserve by generating one hundred and sixty seven million dollars and the second of investment bullion products and uh, refinery and uh, and uh, exchange trade receipts, which surpassed the example of two thousand and eleven we 've seen another very productive in two thousand and thirteen our Benefits before taxes went by 18% to reach $48 million. To maintain this performance is showing that all our foreign business lines are able to answer the demand on the world, can, on the world scene. Here now are a few clarifications in each business line. Numismatics and collectibles revenue increased 10% to an all-time high of $167 million from 145 million in 2012. The Mint issued 201 collector's coin last year, of which 70 sold out, compared to 136 numismatic coins and 60 sell out in 2012. A strong customer focus in 2013 enabled the business line to better understand its customer and what drives them to collect the Mint's numismatic products. Along with ever-deepening business-to-business relationship, these insights inform the product mix, including the use of innovative technology and exciting teams that resonates with the customers. Les revenus de la ligne d'affaires produits des produits d'investissement Re recipes of the from the business side of an bullion and uh, uh, refinery invent by three percent from three point three billion base billion to three billion dollars. Uh, the previous record was in two thousand and eleven when sales were of two point nine million. The, the gold maple leaf had surged forward by forty eight percent in two thousand and thirteen. It remains. The key um, gold investment coin is the most popular in the world. And the silver investment uh, coins have seen a 56%, uh, having 28 million ounces, uh, uh, an amount n uh, never before reached for this, tip for this particular product. 
has have decreased to 133 million in 2013 compared to 153 million in 2012. The volumes of Canadian coins produced has also decreased to 435 million pieces from 1.1 billion in 2012. Through the phase out of the penny and its extensive R&D program, the Mint has ensured every denomination produced for Canada coinage system now costs less than phase value to manufacture. The transition to the new generation of $1 and $2 coins alone is expected to result in annual savings of $15 million. While the demand for circulation coins remained constant in the marketplace, several changes in the Canadian coinage system resulted in a significant impact on the mint's management of the nation's coin supply. The removal of a core denomination for the first time in its history, the acceleration in the growth of coins counting kiosks, and the implementation of rounding procedure were unknown, unknown complexities that tested the robustness and the flexibility of the distribution network. The net effect of these activities caused an increase of coins of all denomination to be returned from the market along with the penny phase-out, reduced the production and made it even more crucial for the mint to manage inventory to ensure were available to ensure coins were available in the right place at the right time. With regards to uh, international uh, coinage, volumes increased to 2.6 billion and blanks to 17 countries. Previously, we had 903 million to 13 countries in 2012. Revenues went from $30 million in 2012 to $78 million in 2013, a, uh, an increase of 158%. The Mint's ability to uh, obtain other contracts in the more traditional markets is limited by such factors such as the uh, fragility of the world, um, uh, financial situation, uh, the lesser demand in coins, and new competitors in uh, on the market, and a quite a uh, competition in the in the costs in 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 providers. This should be noted that there's an impact from the continued val decreased value of the Can of Canadian gold in this matter. Depend on the strength and competence of our support function as well. During 2013. Continuous improvement initiatives were aimed at improving productivity, health and safety, product quality, environmental footprint in order to increase capacity, reduce costs, and enhance productivity and customer satisfaction. The sum of these initiatives achieved an estimated $2 million in savings and profit improvements in 2013 compared to $2.1 million in 2012. La monnaie continue également. The Mint continues to invest in the well-being and the security of its employees, which brings us closer to our objective, which is to reduce to as much as possible the risk of workplace injuries and the inevitable uh, res implications on competition. On, um, on, uh, on productivity. Thanks to our solid basis, which we have established in order to uh, tackle the future, the month the mint and now has maintained a f quite high profitability in 2014 and remains well placed to face the uncertainties of the world market. Site where reports quarterly on, on our financial performance is, on, is an ongoing effort to increase our accountability and transparency. Ce fut un plaisir de vous présenter les points saillants de nos résultats financiers. It was a pleasure for us to present the highlights of these financial results for 2013. Uh, thank you, Adele. I'll now present the strategies and commercial campaigns of the Mint. Our commercial strategies essentially aim to support our four business lines, which we talked about this morning. 
and uh, as well as uh, meet our corporate objectives, which have been stated. I'll provide a few examples of how these strategies um, stand in the marketplace. Within the minting industry, one that is often acknowledged at international events, such as the Mint Directors Conference or the World Money Fair in Berlin. Recently at the International Currency Conference in October of 2013, as Mark pointed out uh, earlier, the Mint's new $1 and $2 coins were awarded with the most innovative new coin features. Being a global leader starts at home in how we manage our own coinage system in Canada, and the Mint is well regarded as an industry leader in terms of efficiency and authenticity. Our $2 circulation coin, called a Tuni, is the most secure circulation coin in the world with seven different security features. An example of how we strive to foster a leadership position can be seen in the development of this electronic newsletter. Inside Minting was introduced in the fall of 2013 and it reaches out to central bankers and industry influencers around the world. Inside Minting offers a perspective on industry and business trends while emphasizing innovation through new technologies and products that are ready for market. The Mint's success in producing coins for several countries around the world is used as testimonials that confirm our global leadership. As it has been said earlier, we have grown our numismatic and collectibles business more than twofold in the past three years, in both in terms of customers and revenues. And we also recognize that there is still room to engage a greater number of Canadians as well as new customers in specific markets like the U.S. and in Europe. We've increased our level of sophistication by using customer-driven insights, by broadening our product portfolio to increase our appeal with different audiences, and by implementing several marketing initiatives to acquire, convert, and retain customers more effectively. We strive to be relevant in commemorating historic events, but we're also committed in selecting and supporting some modern th themes that resonate with Canadians. From the Empress of Ireland to the 75th anniversary of the Royal, Royal Winnipeg Ballet, to Alice Munro's incredible literature achievement, to the haunted ghost bride of the Fairmont Bam Springs Hotel, our collector coins attract customers for their variety, their designs, and the quality of our craftsmanship. Un bel exemple de ce genre d'initiative est survenu en 2013. A remarkable example of uh, this initiative occurred in 2013 with the 75th uh, anniversary of the uh, Superman. This was an opportunity provided to Mint to, to show its boldness and its uh, relate to modern history by telling the story of a superhero which is known to everyone. Seven coins were brought in 2013, followed by four other coins in 2014. All were sold out in record time. It's been predicated on strong demand for bullion coins over the past years. The Mint has been active in diversifying its product and service offering namely with exchange-traded receipts, enhanced security features, and increased uh, storage capabilities. And we will continue to grow the awareness of these features in a very targeted manner by leveraging our trusted and iconic Maple Leaf brand. Innovation is key in our industry. Every die used to produce a gold Maple Leaf coin is micro-engraved to enhance authenticity with a security mark, a textured Maple Leaf. Even though they appear identical from one coin family to the next, each die is randomly unique, encrypted with a string of code that is used to register each coin and store its image in our secure database. Vous avez peut-être remarqué récemment que you may have recently noted that uh, our brand has slightly changed with a new logo and a new appearance. The emphasis was to bring in what we call a way to, to brand, to mark history. That is what we're trying to do in each one of our efforts. That allows us to talk about our history, our passions for our history and our culture by using mint.ca and uh, targeting in a very focused manner customers who are interested by our by our products we want to be the gatekeepers of uh, these uh, products of this history and we want to inspire uh, canadians of all ages to uh, our history and our passion 
a unique uh, program allowed us to uh, do so just recently in 2013 with the centennial of the first ex Arctic Canadian Arctic expedition. It was an interactive game geared to reach a younger clientele and this game received international praise in the um, publicity industries. It was uh, created by Cassette, one of our uh, publicity partners, and the video which you will see shortly is a testimonial to the success of this enterprise. Wanted to try something new for the release of their 100th anniversary Canadian Arctic Expedition series, targeting children instead of adults. The challenge? take coin collecting and history to activities most children are allergic to and make them irresistible. Our solution was to launch heartofthearctic.ca, an adventure where truth, fantasy, and Inuit mythology were woven together to create a world that transformed children into Arctic explorers. A site so rich it was only previously possible using Flash, a 72,000 pixel wide page with parallax scrolling countless hotspots and animations, all seamlessly delivered on both desktop and tablet using HTML5. Their mission was to unlock four magic coins by collecting various wildlife, plants and artifacts that were brought to life using photos, videos and stories, a bit like a miniature encyclopedia of the Arctic. And as they explored, not everything was as it seemed. Some collectibles launched multi-layer puzzles. And it doesn't stop there. Components of this online adventure were also sent to schools as a pedagogical tool through a large-scale contest. And students were invited to consult our small encyclopedia on the Arctic and become a hero. Because of you, the four are now together. <laughs> Across these vast lands, the balance between night and day has been restored. And the heart of the Arctic beats again. Creating meaningful connections throughout the Mint is critical to our success. Our internal communications have been enhanced over the years with timely and consistent means of communication. From the weekly Thursday email call to source where all employees can be informed of current affairs to our monthly publication, The Minter, which offers in-depth stories of employee accomplishments, these are some of the examples that keep us connected. In 2014, the, the Mint teamed up with the Children's Wish Foundation to benefit a child in each of our locations in both Ottawa and Winnipeg. This initiative received the great support from our employees and the Mint was a top fundraiser in each city. The Mint is actively engaged in many exciting programs over the next three years. We have started to commemorate important milestones from both the centennial of the First World War as well as the 75th anniversary of the start of the Second World War as Mark indicated, our most recent $2 circulation coin issued in October of this year, commemorating the famous Wait For Me Daddy photo taken in New Westminster is the beginning of a six-year program. The Mint will also be producing the medals for the 2015 Toronto Pan Am and Para Pan Am ne Games next summer. And finally, we have been preparing for Canada's 150th anniversary in 2017. And next year will mark the beginning of these efforts. Our goal is to connect Canadians in a way that they feel inspired. Our Canada 150 collection will be branded in our own and unique way. We will get Canadians involved in the process like never before, and our plans will be unveiled in early 2015. So stay tuned. So I guess this ends and concludes today's annual public meeting. We appreciate, we appreciate everyone following us. Ceci met fin à notre Assemblée annuelle publique. This concludes our annual, uh, annual public meeting of 2013. We thank you for your participation.